Hey guys, it's been a while since Yoli and I have been able to get out of Madrid, so this weekend we're heading to Extremadura. It's one of the least populated and least tourist regions in the country, and it's a real hidden beauty. We've been there a few times, we've explored different parts, but this weekend we're in for something special. We're heading to the Gerte Valley, which is a magical little valley where every spring for a couple of weeks an abundance of cherry trees come into blossom, and it's famous throughout Spain, this event. So we're heading there to dance, to eat and drink, and, and waltz amongst the cherry trees. Yoli's here. Hi. behind the wheel and so we're pretty excited welcome to Spain revealed guys this channel is all about exploring Spain like a local and let's get into it we're a couple hours away looking forward to it so venga let's go So first stop, we've arrived in Plasencia. Now this is a pretty important town here in Extremadura and it's a medieval town, it's walled, beautiful, fantastic walls circle the whole area. We've searched for a park for ages. We're just circling the medieval walls. Now we're here, we're thirsty, we're hungry. You know us, we need to eat and drink. So like all of our holidays, they begin with a drink. Here we are, sipping a glass of white wine. Salud. We, uh, salud. we didn't specify too much of the white wine. It turns out we got one that was a bit sweet, but uh, it's okay. So quick little stop before we hit lunch in Bar Javier, which is just outside the city walls. Recommendation from Troy on Twitter and they do this huge tortilla, which looks pretty good. Usually big tortillas are not good, but... Uh, mm. Oh, it's good. Really yeah. flavorful. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yoli, you're gonna love this. <laughs> mm. Really good, really good tortilla. One of the top here. Salud, Baja Javier. On to lunch. And now we're sitting down for lunch of a serious extremen, extremenian, extremenian, extremenio, extremenio, yeah, extremenian, 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 extremenian lunch. Oh, <laughs> migas! I got the migas and the the ribs and your. I'm getting the potatoes and the meatballs. Salu migas! It is the classic dish from this region, and it's so simple. It's real peasant food. They had bread. They had some pork because there's a lot of pigs in this part. They had an eggs. They had some garlic and they fried it up. And I love the simplicity of it. When it's done well like this one. It's really yummy. So I'm already full. I've had the tortilla and the migas, and now I have this enormous plate of pork ribs. I was about to, well, I was folding up my sleeves because I was going to eat with my hands because there's not any other way to eat this. Yoli said I shouldn't eat with my hands here. All right, let's see how they are. Oh. oh yeah, oh yeah, it's really tender. These are yummy. Dare I say the fries are good too. So, and I think the wine is local. So. I mean, this is perfect. I was full after the tortilla. I was full after the migas, but I'm still hungry. I don't know how that works, but welcome to my world. I'm two hours into the holiday and I'm starting to sweat food. I still have the dessert to come. I think I'm gonna have arroz con leche, uh, creamed rice. I shouldn't have anything. It makes no sense gastronomically, um, but I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it for you guys. And for me. And for Yoli. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Tell me what the arroz con leche is like. I know yes. you're a fan. Mm -hmm. Too full for a whole, you know, dessert of this now, but a spoonful yeah. for sure. Mm. Mm. So yummy. He has everything, you know, the cinnamon, the sweetness. It's gorgeous. This tunnel is very cool, and oh, 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 oh. I can hear some good acoustics. Ah. I think it might be time for some palmas. Flamenco. Yeah. Flamenco time. <laughs> So 
So if you've never heard of the Paradors of Spain, these are a network of, of state-run hotels that are in all over the country, and each hotel is an incredible old building, a building full of history. And here in Placentia, it's spectacular. We're in a convent, a monastery from the 15th century, and it's now a hotel, a luxury hotel. I've never actually stayed in a Parador. They're always a little bit out of our budget, but I would like to one day. So we may not be staying in a Parador, but we saw this enormous sofa, and it's the best we can do. So I'd <laughs> like to know that. We consider this a very large sofa. If you've ever stayed in a parador, I'd love to you to let us know in the comments what it's like because I'd like to do it one day and for the moment we'd just like to know what it's like. So let us know in the comments if you've ever stayed in a parador and special bonus points if it's the one in Placentia because the place is magnificent. And I would love to know what these chains are for. Any ideas? Like for the Chains of the Damned or something? Or the horsies. It's either the Chains of the Damned. Or the horsies. Or the horsies. <laughs> what do you think? Comments below. <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the village. It's evening, it's getting nippy. Yeah, uh, a little where bit are cold. we? What's it called, Yoli? We are in Cabezuela del Valle del Jerte. Cabezuela del Valle del Jerte de Extremadura. And the village has been uh, decorated a little bit. You can see around us the church because of the, the festivities around the, the Cherry Festival. The festivities are actually next weekend, but the, the flowering is happening this weekend. And so we're going to be exploring and walking through the, the fields of cherry trees tomorrow. Very cute church behind us. Lovely, yeah. Kids just came in. The kids have just, have just run in. And so now we're going to explore a little bit. Grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, and maybe have an early night because we have to get up early tomorrow to explore the valley. Are we? Uh, yeah, we are. Oh. Sorry. Thought it was a holiday. Morning everyone, good morning from the Gerte Valley. You can see the blanketing of, of blossoming cherry trees behind us. We're going to be exploring those today. We're going to picnic under them, but first we need coffee and breakfast. It's pretty quiet in the village this morning, Yoli. Very nice. What do you think? Should we move to a village? <laughs> Sometimes I think yes, but uh, then most of the time I think no. Okay, Yoli and I, as you may or may not know, are looking for a house. We'd love to buy an apartment. I think I found it. Yoli, here it is. Oh, lovely. Do her upper. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Needs a little vision. A little bit. A little love and care, but I can see it. What do you think, Yoli? Just a little bit of paint, right? And lick of paint, it. lick of paint, and that's it. The coffee is rough, the bread is burnt, but the views are spectacular, so I'm happy with breakfast. So our picnic is not quite complete yet. We have cheese, we have wine, we have fruit, but we don't have any pork products. And hey, this is Spain, so we just saw some someone selling ham by the side of the road, so we're gonna hit that. Heading out on our picnic walk. It's two hours apparently, and then we hit a uh, waterfall somewhere along the way. So we're more urban than rural, but I'm sure we'll figure this out. So I've just found a cherry orchard that is for sale. So instead of buying a house or a ruin in the village, we're gonna buy a cherry orchard. What do you think? You're so excited. Yeah, let's do it. We can live in a tent. Look at it. Perfect. In flowering. We're gonna live in a tent. Forget that, we don't need to live in a tent. There's actually a house here on the property with a cherry orchard out the front. Yoli, there's a house. We don't need to live in the tent. 
We're moving to the Jerte Valley. And we don't need a terraza that way. We, we don't, don't yeah. Like, you know, pretty much the whole property dream so something really typical just happened we've been walking on this road for about two hours hour and a half looking for this waterfall that we wanted to walk through the cherry trees to a waterfall and we were going for a long time it's getting hot and we're like where's the waterfall and we just stopped a local and asked and he was like oh you're going in the complete wrong direction you left the village on the wrong road so we've been going in the wrong direction for an hour and a half but we've, we've done that very well we've done that very well you and know, I yeah exactly we the wrong path this always happens. We always get lost when we're in nature. We always do the wrong thing. We're always wearing the wrong clothes. But we have adventures on the way. And so we just roll with it. Beautiful cherry trees all around us. Gonna look for a spot for a picnic, right? Yeah, picnic and time. Keep enjoying it. I have a thirst for wine. I forgot the picnic blanket. <laughs> in so the car. It's in the car. So we have everything else, but we don't have the picnic blanket. No. We don't really know whose fault it is. We haven't assigned blame. No. I think that's one of the keys of a strong relationship. <laughs> we have both assumed equal blame. But again, we're pushing through. We have wine, we have smelly cheese, and we have a very special chorizo. So we're good. Yoli, here's to El Valle del Gerte, here's to love <laughs> and overcoming adversity. <laughs> Always together, right? Always. Salud. Wow. Wow. Mm. Intense? Spain's strongest cheese. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Reference. You dipped the cracker in the Torta del Casar, put the cracker in your mouth, and then dip the cracker again. That's like putting your whole mouth in the cheese. Comment below, where is that from? Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to the world's most awkward picnic. <laughs> hey guys, so the wine is finished, the goat chorizo is done as well, we've finished that. And after this uh, awkward, slightly awkward, and wonderful picnic, I have one life lesson for you, and that's Always forget the picnic blanket. Dessert time, and I wouldn't be a true kiwi if I wasn't gonna eat a kiwi fruit. And you know how I like to eat kiwi fruit. Skin on. Are you really eating it with skin on? So good, so healthy. Are they? Wow. It always comes apart. <laughs> you eat the whole thing, right? Not the bits at the end. Ah, okay. But you eat the core, the white stuff. Yeah. Mm. Walking amongst these trees, I almost can't believe that they're real. It's like they're made of, of paper or something, of white paper, these leaves. It's, it's magical, it's, it's surreal at what it looks like, like covered in snow, but it's so warm. Uh, if you ever get the chance to, to visit this place, do it, because it's, it's magical during these two weeks in the Gerte Valley. So welcome to the wild world of Spanish salads. We have a salad with carrot, Prawns, tuna, boiled egg, remolacha, beetroot, salmon, anchovies, lettuce, mayonnaise, cherry tomatoes, and a big long fat white asparagus. James's favorite. My favorite. Patatas revolconas. Think Spanish mashed potatoes, which is potatoes kind of mashed up with garlic, paprika. We think there's some white wine in here and big chunks of pork. Yoli's favorite. Third dish, chuletón de Avila. We're really ramping it up now. Chuletón means T-bone, and Avila is a place. Great city to visit and great steaks. And we got this really raw. Not really raw. This raw. That raw. Pretty raw. It can be raw, but this is how I like it. Really crisp on the outside. Yum. So we closed out the restaurant. It's totally empty. And we feel disgustingly full, but very happy. So... I think it's home time.
we awake this morning on day three with a Spain lesson to teach you and a life lesson as well. <laughs> if you're ever in this country and you're sitting down for dinner and you see on the menu an enormous chuleton from Avila, a huge T-bone steak, do not order it for dinner. Never. Never. Come back and have it for lunch. We, instead of sleeping last night, we spent the entire night digesting almost a kilo of beef from Avila. And it was great, but we didn't sleep. So a little tired. So a little Spain tip there. So we're now heading for coffee, and then we're gonna look for that waterfall that we couldn't find yesterday. See if we get lost again. Torre facto check? I think so, but not a bad one. Is that good, Torre facto? You may be wondering why Yoli and I are smelling our coffee. That's because we're checking for levels of Torre facto. And if you don't know what <laughs> Torre facto is, it's a particular process that a lot of Spanish coffee has applied to it that makes it dark and strong and a bit like burnt rubber. Particularly in traditional places, you'll get it. I'll put a link below to an article I wrote about it so you can read some more. But despite the levels of Torre Facto, the second coffee of the morning as we prepare ourselves mentally to try and find this waterfall, it's pretty nice. We're here by the river, we're channeling the water here. Wish us luck. Nice little chiringuito, this one. Yeah. If we were having lunch, I would have lunch here. We're twisting and turning up the valley to a to a lookout point. Yoli is driving like a hero. <laughs> As usual. Yoli is an amazing driver. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna see some incredible views from up here, I hope. If we make it, if we don't fall off the cliff. Oh. Not with Yoli driving. Yeah. Never. Nice. From up here we can see the whole Gerte oh. Valley. You wanna move here, baby? Nah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, maybe. Depends how much you love cherries, I guess. <laughs> if you love cherries. This is the place. And you'll see stalls selling cherries, cherry products all over this region. So just in one little stall there was cherry, cherry gin, cherry donuts, cherry, cherry marmalade, cherry marmalade, cherry raisins, cherry raisins, sugar-free cherry marmalade. We got one of those for Yoli's mum. Man, you just go nuts on cherries here. <laughs> nuts on cherries. Great views. Mm. Beautiful valley. We're gonna head back to that chiringuito for lunch and then the search shall continue. So we're back in the chiringuito that we had coffee in this morning. When you find a good spot, you tend to return. And I see that they have Chuleton de Avila. Please, no, 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 no! On the menu, that big <laughs> steak we had last night. So I'm gonna adjust the rule that I stated earlier that you, if you have it, you should only have it for lunch. That is true, but don't order it for lunch if you had it for dinner the night before. <laughs> that would be very intense. I'm sure. All right. Okay, we're going light today. Tomato salad and cheese. Salud, mi amor. Salud. And one of my favorite salads in Spain is simply tomato and onion. Olive oil and a little bit of vinegar and salt. Oh my God, I love it so much. So there was a couple of close calls as we climbed the rock face. We almost fell to our death. Well, not really, but the payoff is pretty incredible. Behind us, the Cascada del Caotho is magnificent. Uh, and I think if there's two takeaways from this trip, number one has been always forget the picnic blanket, and number two has been keep going until you get to the waterfall. And come to the Herde Valley. Exactly. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video, and hasta luego. Hasta pronto. Ciao.